Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode 12, and today we're digging into something most gamers never even think about, the Windows File Cache and Standby Memory System. Even if your SSD is fast and your RAM is huge, Windows has a habit of holding onto cached files way too long, stuff from your browser, your last game, or even background updates. And when your PC runs out of free RAM, it starts swapping and juggling memory in real time. That's what causes those random stutters, audio crackles, and slowdowns even when your hardware should be flying. In this episode, we'll optimize how Windows manages its file cache, standby list, and system memory priorities, safely and reversibly. Nothing dangerous, nothing that breaks Windows updates, just smart resource tuning that makes your system breathe better. Let's fix it. Step 1. Check if file cache is your bottleneck. Before we start tweaking, let's confirm if this is your issue. Here's how to tell. Press Ctrl Shift S to open Task Manager. Go to Performance, Memory. Look at Cached and Available. If your cached memory is large, like 4 to 8 gigabytes, while your available memory is low, that means Windows is hoarding file cache. If it's eating a huge chunk of your RAM and you notice stutters when launching or alt-tabbing, this video's for you. Step 2. Disable over-aggressive file caching. By default, Windows keeps file cache even after programs close. Good for servers, bad for real-time performance. We'll tweak that with memory management registry edits. Open command prompt, admin. All the commands used in this video are below. Run Disable Large File Cache. Disable File System Lazy Writing for more consistent performance. Reduce Cache Trimming Delays. These tweaks tell Windows to prioritize active tasks over cached data that's just sitting idle. Revert commands if something goes wrong. Reboot to apply changes. Step 3. Control the Standby Memory List ISLC, plus Task Scheduler. The Standby Memory List is the section of your RAM that Windows reserves for recently used files and applications. In theory, it helps reload files faster. However, when the Standby List grows too large, especially on systems with limited RAM, it can actually cause micro stutters, input delay, or sudden frame drops as Windows constantly tries to balance active and cached memory. To prevent this, we'll manage standby memory automatically using a lightweight and trusted utility, ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, by Wagnard, the same developer behind DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. Setup Guide Download ISLC from the official Wagnard Soft website, Always use the official source to avoid repacked or tampered versions. Extract the zip and run islc.exe, no installation required. Under Free Memory is lower than, set the threshold to 1024 megabytes or 1 gigabyte. This tells ISLC to automatically clear the standby list whenever free memory dips below that point. Press Start and ISLC will begin monitoring and managing standby memory in real time. Once active, ISLC runs quietly in the background, automatically freeing RAM when needed, keeping system memory fresh and preventing those momentary slowdowns during gaming or heavy multitasking. Optional, Auto Start with Task Scheduler. If you want ISLC to launch automatically when Windows boots, open Task Scheduler, then click Create Task. Under the General tab, check the box labeled Run with Highest Privileges. In the Triggers tab, set the trigger to At Logon.
In the Actions tab, choose Start a Program and browse to your islc.exe file. Save the task. ISLC will now auto-start silently each time you log in, ensuring your standby memory stays under control at all times. This one tweak alone eliminates up to 80% of standby-related frame stutters and memory-induced lag on many systems. Combined with the task scheduler setup, it ensures consistent performance and smoother gameplay without any manual maintenance required. Step 4. Tame Background File Caching and Prefetch Windows Prefetch and Superfetch Sysmain, analyze how you use programs and preload them into RAM. That sounds nice, but on gaming rigs, it just burns resources. We'll tune or disable them cleanly. Command Prompt Admin. Once done, reboot your PC. No more unnecessary preloading while you're gaming. Your RAM stays focused on what's actually running. Revert. Step 5. Optimize system responsiveness and paging. Windows dynamically adjusts how it uses RAM and the page file, but we can fine-tune that to make foreground tasks, like games, always take priority. Run these commands. Favor foreground apps. This ensures that background system caching won't suddenly push your game into page file usage, a common cause of mid-session stutter spikes. Step 6. Verify and test. After applying all tweaks, reboot and run a few checks. Open Task Manager, Memory tab, and verify standby memory stays low, under typically 1 GB during gaming. Launch Latency Mon if you had DPC spikes from Memory Compression or NTOSKRNL.exe they should be much lower. Use Cap Frame X or Afterburner Frame Time Graph to compare before and after. Expect smoother frame time consistency. No random dips when alt-tabbing or loading textures. And faster transitions between levels. And that's it! Your system's file cache and standby memory are now fully optimized. We've disabled over-aggressive caching, controlled standby memory automatically, stopped background prefetch waste, and prioritized real-time responsiveness. Your games and creative apps should now feel snappier, with fewer mid-session stutters or weird slowdowns after long sessions. If your frame time graph looks flatter and your memory usage stays consistent, then you've just fixed one of Windows' most annoying hidden performance quirks. Like always, back up, test safely, and share your results. Thank you for watching.